so we get this question all the time. I've got an open shelf and it has slots in it. Is there something that I can put inside to act as bookends or end supports? So we do offer all types of versions of what we call dividers. Now the key with a divider is you have to identify number one, how deep your current shelf is. And two, we need to make sure that we get you the correct divider because not every, it's not universal. Not every divider will fit inside of that. So the first step you want to do is you want to Id identify the shelf. And if you look at this, there's a slot in the shelf with a circle inside of it. That's a quick and easy identifier that you that and when you see the slot with a circle in it that's brand s of these dividers the second thing you really want to do is you want to take a tape measure and you want to measure the depth of the shelf so i'm going to go ahead and do that right here the depth is 16 inches and you'll see the slots in the shelf and when the 16 inch deep unit actually uses a 14 inch deep divider. You can kind of see that that's a 14 inch deep divider. So if the shelf is 16 deep, you use a 14 inch deep unit. If it, if it would be 12 inch deep, you would use a 10 inch deep. If it's 15, you would use a 13 inch deep divider. If it's an 18, you would use a 16 inch divider. So step number one is measure your shelf depth and see if we can get some identifications because we need to determine what brand you need. To identify the brand, make sure that you look at the hole sequences or the slots in the shelf and then and also in your vertical uprights, you want the whole sequences and that make sure that they look exactly the same and then verify your dimension of the depth of the shelf to determine what size you need. Okay, so the brand T, same concept. Measure the depth of the shelf. A 12 inch deep uses a 10 inch divider. A 15 inch deep divider uh, shelf uses a 13 inch divider. It looks a little different. Look at this image. Um, it has that shape on a divider. Notice the slots are different. The slot in the front is shifted towards the front of the shelf. The slot in the back is closer to the back. So if you have something that looks like that, that would be a, a possibility for your brand T divider option. Okay, to continue on brand T, this, these are called vertical uprights and these whole sequences, you can see how the uh, gentleman is holding a, what they call a shelf support in his hand and it locks in those keyhole slots. This is another way to identify your shelving is to compare your whole sequences in your vertical uprights with what you have now to help determine the brand. If your holes look like that sequence, you probably have brand T. So the brand A divider is very unique. It has rounded corners on it, and that, that's an automatic giveaway on you probably have brand A. Uh, same concept measure the depth of the shelf and double check the size before you place an order. Brand D or datum, uh, if you need the divider, it always has this unique symbol on the divider itself, which will automatically give it away of which one you need. So you've got a divider. Let's, let's show you how you actually put this in. There's a secret to it. It has a hook there and something in the back. The hook in the front is where you want to put that into the front slot first. And then you want to lower that down all into the back slot and try to connect it into what they call the backstop. This is the backstop. 
On a double-sided unit, it would be called what they call a center stop. And it acts very similar. But then it locks that divider into place. And these dividers usually come in two inch, on two-inch increments. So you can kind of partition that wherever you need to create your bookends. So this is called a pass-through shelf. And you can add an accessory called a center stop. And if you notice, this shelf, take my word for it, it's 24 inches deep. And I know that because when I measure the depth of one side, it's approximately 12 inches. So that would be a 10 inch deep divider. So again, it has the holes with the slot. So that tells me brand S. And then you take that and just like we did in the backstop, we start from the front, put it down, and enter the hole in the back to lock that divider in. So this a center stop divides a through shelf, and a back stop is for single-sided units only. But that divider um, fits in there and creates your bookends.